What is up, Panda Nation? How are y'all doing? Y'all missed me? Y'all miss me? You better miss me. How are y'all doing? Hope all is well. You know, <clears throat> it would have been cool if I if I could have um, if I could have done this video at my house, but I couldn't because they're playing freaking booming mariachi or something music, and I'm like, what are you doing? I don't know who was playing it, but man, it was like the whole neighborhood could hear this echoing. And the cops are right there. All right, I'm good. Yeah, at least it was decent music, though. Um, so, today, this video is about um, some moments in my life that I think have been pivotal. And I can only remember two right now. Uh, pivotal regarding um, just... Uh, just um, a few choice spoken words. Okay. So I don't know if I had said this before, but when I was a boy, my mother was handicapped, and disabled, and arthritic, and stuff like that. And she always told me, or she would tell me time to from time to time, all the good that is in me, Trent. I gave it to you, and I believed her, and I still believe her, and I think it's true, but what she did, I think, is she transferred all the good that was in her, in those words, into that little boy, that little panda, yeah, and um, I am so thankful that she said that, why, because, you know, as an adult now, I do that every time, man. As an adult, um, I need to remember that, you know? I'm a healthy dude, pretty much. Yeah, I am healthy. Yeah, it's a nice thought. Um, and it went on for years, these words. And it, it think if she would have said, you know, you're going to be handicapped just like me. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> another time, uh, during the drug days, I just finished um, cocaine with uh, my friend, who is still my friend, and whom we both do not do that anymore. And um, anyways, I'm on the floor. <laughs> doping, doping. <laughs> And I'm, 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 uh, I'm waking out, I'm Jones and I'm like, man, I want some more, man. You know, just all, oh man, just bad, man. And he said, man, he said, Trent, he said, I hate seeing you like that, dude. He goes, you're a strong person and I hate seeing you like that. And it was the same experience. Only he could say what he said, just like my mother. Because we're, we're like, you know, hetero, hetero duality. He's, he's most definitely my brother. Oy. And um, when he said that, I'm like, he's right. It, it ticked me off. And I got up, and the next day I quit. I was good for a while. Well, for, 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 yeah, for, for quite a while. And then calamity happened and drama and went back and got back off again and eventually stopped. But the point being is that it affected me big time. And I needed it to affect me because I could have, maybe I wouldn't be doing this right now and talking. But those are just two examples. And my point is this. It says that reckless words pierce like a sword. But the tongue of the wise brings healing. And that the tongue has the power of life and death. And I truly believe that. Spiritual life and death. Physical life and death even. Sure. Um, and the words that we say to ourselves have that effect as well. 
and the people who, who there is a sphere of influence for everybody in on in the group in your life you have a sphere of influence and within that sphere of influence there are people that are, that are that you're close with that that love you that trust you that look up to you and you mean the world to them not just your children either your friend or your i don't know somebody right and you have that ability just like i do and no i'm not you know i mess up of course but we have that ability but you have that ability to um to to deposit those kind of words and and yeah of course words always need to be bought, uh, backed up with action for sure they're just words in you know um but sometimes like that little boy I like that young man I never forgot those words ever and um I am very thankful for them so your words have a very strong impact and I mean I know I'm preaching to the choir but I really wanted to kind of I don't know I just popped in my head today this this one I don't know if it's cheesy or not, but um, but it was very real to me. And I know that there's other moments too. And I'm going to say also there can be negative words that have the same effect. I'm sorry, the adverse effect. Uh, but that effect that has the same, the, the reverse polarity of it, the, the worse, you know, can be the outcome, the bad part. And I've been told things like that too. But I don't care to share those. Why would I? So, speak life into people in love. Tell them they're going to make it. You know, who cares if you're sick? Who cares if you ain't got no job? Man, join the freaking club, dude. Just tell them you're going to make it. You get up. I'm here for you. And you, and It'll be good. It ain't easy, but it'll be good. All right. Bye. Love you.